Hello, I'm designer Dave and I'm doing a quick response to the Diablo Immortals announcement. I noticed a serious amount of backlash based on the YouTube video and I just wanted to point out some things about the way that Blizzard does uh, announcements and the way that other companies have done announcements of mobile games in the past. This isn't necessarily a defense of Blizzard, I just want to point out some hypocrisy from the respective communities in their response to this and try to alleviate some of the anxiety that it seems to have caused because it's really unnecessary and extremely hyperbolic and it doesn't need to be this way. So the right way to announce a mobile game is the way that Bethesda announced Fallout Shelter. Fallout 4 was imminent, it was coming soon. Hey, here's Fallout Shelter, give it a try, it's completely free to play. Um, you don't have to spend any money in, on it if you don't want. And people spent tons of money on it, and people really enjoyed it. It wasn't um, like a lesser version of Fallout, it was a completely different mobile game and it was enjoyable. But the reaction to it was overwhelmingly positive, positive. and why is that? Well, because everyone was assured that Fallout 4 was about to come out, and thus this mobile game was an addendum to it, and it was free to play. But let's look at EA for example now. So uh, EA has a number of franchises that they have spent a lot of time gutting and pulling the parts out to make money out of. And so when they announced Command & Conquer, the mobile game, that distrust was realized <laughs> because there was no possibility that they were working on a real full-fledged PC Command and Conquer game, and what their response to the backlash against the mobile version of the game, which is actually a pretty decent game, um, I, I honestly think you should try it, it's not bad. The response was of course like, well we wanted PC Command and Conquer, where's our PC Command and Conquer game, where's our RTS? F U E A, and EA's response was, people don't want it, there's no market for it. Wrong, that was the wrong thing to say. It would, it should have been something like, well, if you really want to, you know, take this poll and let's see what our numbers are and then maybe we can figure it out. Like, that would be a better, still EA, still an EA asshole response, but a better EA response. Um, but instead, they did the typical EA thing of, we're always right and you're always stupid. <clears throat> Suck it. Now, let's look at what happened with Blizzard's uh, Immortals, Diablo Immortals announcement. You have to understand the history of Blizzard and how they announce games and when they don't announce games. And when they don't announce games is when it's um, is when they internally believe it's more than a year off or it's not ready, just not ready to show. So in the case of Diablo Immortals, they announced it at BlizzCon because they announce everything that Blizzard is doing at, at BlizzCon. They announce toys, they announce Legos, they announce like and they have keychains, for crying out loud. Anything Blizzard related is going to be announced at BlizzCon. And in this case, they have a partnership with NetEase from their World of Warcraft licensing in China. And NetEase clearly came to them and said, hey, we'd like to make a Diablo RPG, ARPG, in you know our typical NetEase Chinese fashion, and we can do it relatively quickly. And this is these are the numbers that we're expecting to see in China by using your license in China. And I can guarantee you those numbers are astronomically high and could fund Blizzard probably forever <laughs> based on what I know of China's market and how action RPGs like Diablo do. It's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, of course they're going to do that. So, and because the Diablo Immortals project is very going to be very quick to fruition because it's just basically a reskin of, of NetEase um, game systems and stuff, and uh, maybe some additional Diablo-esque loot layers in there, but most of those games are already basically Diablo, so it's really nothing, it's just a reskin. In fact, you can already pre-register pre -register on Android and iOS, uh, which means that it's maybe six months out. It's coming quick. Diablo 4 is not coming quick. It's at least over a year out. Look at Blizzard's history of announcing games. When do they announce games? They typically do not announce a game until they are 90% sure that they're going to be releasing that beta to the public within a year or less. And why do they do that? Because if you hype it to if you hype a game too early, you get backlash and you get constant complaints. Where is this game? Where is this game? Now they get that anyways. But if they announced a Diablo 4, they would get it more. 
and Blizzard has these sort of blanket um, mandates that they put on their employees. You can't talk about an unannounced project. You cannot comment on rumors. And if you look at any Blizzard interview where people, where they get asked questions about a product that has not been announced, it's always the same Stonewall. You, it, it doesn't change because they won't say anything about it. That's what they are effectively programmed to do. So you're not going to get a Diablo 4 announcement, no matter how you ask or how much you cajole them, it's just not going to happen. Not until it's ready. And, you know, Blizzard's version of ready is typically much closer to release. Now, they might have screwed that up in the past, but that's what their goal is. They don't want to announce until it's really close to release. If they, if they made a mistake here, I think it was that they announced Diablo Immortals um, in a grandiose way. They did a whole cinematic for it. And while we love Blizzard cinematics, it built up hype for something that was not going to be what people wanted. They wanted a Diablo 4 announcement. And so, of course, if the expectation is a Diablo 4 announcement and you get a mobile game, you're going to be upset. And that's why Bethesda's example is probably the best version of announcing a mobile game. But here's the conundrum for Blizzard. This Immortals game is going to be done relatively soon, and it's guaranteed to make tons and tons of money in China, and that means it will potentially save hundreds of jobs at Blizzard of people who would be working on Diablo 4 where it might not be affordable to do so otherwise. So what do you do? You have to announce it. If I were at Blizzard and I were dictating these policies, what I would have done, or what I would try to do, is have some sort of teaser for Diablo 4 at the same time. And that way, you can do the, the, you can do it the Bethesda way, the right way, which is that don't worry, the big PC franchise that you love is coming. In the meantime, here's a mobile game. And it's literally, that's the, the only difference, and it makes a massive difference in how it's perceived by the audience. Like, oh, whew, okay, Diablo 4 is coming. I really don't like these stupid mobile games that all these companies are doing. These are stupid cash grabs. And yeah, they are, but that doesn't mean they're not fun. That doesn't mean they're not enjoyable. Fallout Shelter is very enjoyable. I'm pretty sure Diablo Immortals will be very enjoyable. No, it's not Diablo 4. No, no, Fallout Shelter was not Fallout 4. <laughs> why, do you, why do they have to be against each other? First of all, it doesn't take any development time away from Blizzard to make Diablo Immortals because it's a net ease game. So they're making it, not, yeah, not Blizzard. No development time is going away from Blizzard from Diablo 4 to this mobile game. So that's a false dichotomy. You can't use that as an argument. Oh, it's taking away time. It's not. It's not. The second thing is... It's another Diablo game. It, it'll have some story elements. Even if you don't like that it's a mobile game, it's going to have something in there that you're going to enjoy or appreciate. It, it could develop the story in a new way that you didn't see before. It could talk about old characters that you missed, and now you get a little story update on them. Why the hate? <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> I hope that puts it more in perspective and that the hate for Diablo Immortals is a little bit lessened. There's really no reason to hate an additional mobile game that in no way impacts the development of Diablo 4, which I know they haven't announced it, but I promise you it's coming. There's no way they're not doing a Diablo 4. It's just they're not ready to announce yet, and you just have to be patient because Blizzard does not talk about games until they feel they found the fun and it's ready to be shown. And you're just going to have to be patient. That's all I have to say on that. Uh, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to hear more updates like these, uh, let me know. And if you'd like, uh, and please take a look at my game design tutorial videos. Uh, I'm looking at possibly continuing that series, um, but I need to see a little bit more um, enthusiasm before I can devote uh, more time to it. Thank you.